What's going on YouTube? This is IBM with Comic Book Aficionados, here to bring you IBM's Zombie Survival Guide, you know, based off The Walking Dead and what The Walking Dead has brought knowledge of the zombies and everything zombie related. Now, if you were to check out our previous episode, it was IBM, Mason AJ, and Athena, and they just didn't have confidence in my survival guide, like they were questioning it. They were telling me, oh, we need to hurry up, we need to move, we need to run. IBM, you're taking too long in front, of, in front of the camera. Like, I was looking like, yo, if you just believe in me, you'll be fine. But let me tell you why you'll be fine. Primary weapon. You need it, you gotta have it. It's one of my main zombie kills. Rick has a hatchet. I thought a hatchet was a great idea. So I got a hatchet. Enough said. You, if you're keeping up with the comic, you know for a fact that hatchet puts in work. Secondary weapon. Because the hatchet could fall out your hand. You're definitely going to want a secondary weapon, period. You know, yeah, it doesn't always have to be a knife, but you know, just something that you can always have at hand. You're just going to need it. Another thing, guns. You know, I know this is a Nerf gun, not a real gun, but you know, comic book aficionados is a homely family show, so you know, we didn't want to bring a real gun on here. You know, that may inspire some thoughts. But guns are a people killer. You know, quick and easy, people are smart, you don't want to give them the chance to do anything. I mean, look at all the groups that Rick has faced. The cannibals, the governor, I mean, if you check it out right now, he's facing Negan, who is just crazy, you know, bandit leader. You, you want a gun, end them, and have it done with. Another thing, I feel like y'all just aren't preparing enough because you're not bringing tools with you. Dale brought out a good point. Whenever you see Dale, you know, before his death, you know, before the cannibals ate him, he always had tools with him. Whether it was to fix his RV, and you know, it was mostly to fix his RV, but they really should have got more play. I'm looking like, yo, if I have a screwdriver, I can unscrew the hinges on your door. I can unscrew your door knob and open that door. That opens up access to almost every other building. Like. Think of it, you're trying to break into the back door of this grocery store so zombies don't see you, but you know for a fact, if you hit it with anything like this, or shoot it off, it's just going to make too much noise. But if I got a screwdriver, I can just sit it, and we're in there. Screwdriver, multi-tool, multi-tool would be best. I recommend that. IBM recommendation, remember that. And then, flashlight. Zombies need to see, well, zombies smell, but people need to see. At the end of the day, if you're going to run around in the dark, you need a flashlight. You need a source of light, period. But it's always best to have a flashlight. This is a mag light. You can beat in a zombie head and still keep it moving. It's just necessary. And then the show brought this one up to me. This is actually a beautiful thing. Duct tape. Who knew that duct tape could make such good armor? I am a non-dead human being. I am perfectly fine. I still have muscles in my jaw and I couldn't bite through duct tape. I, I just, I couldn't. I have nice teeth. And I still couldn't do it. Imagine a zombie with its rotten gum. It's not getting through duct tape. Cover all the vital places and you will be good. So if you think that, you know, you can add anything to IBM's selection of zombie survival items for his survival guide, then let IBM know because you know, I, I like to hear your opinion and I want to see if you do survive and maybe you can make it to my group. Peace, YouTube. I feel like I'm already there, you know what I mean? Already at the top. Yeah. Uh, coming to you live from the booth, all I do is speak truth. I'ma keep spitting like I got one, two. People gon' hate, let them do what they do. I'ma show love, try to insight the youth just to keep it real. I'm shining like a star with no record deal.